Hello everyone, welcome back. Now in this video tutorial, let's uh, face over a new sensor that is ADC 1216. Uh, it's a very common sensor used in its, um, electronics as you can see. Uh, for, to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over website controleverything.com and here we have to search on for this particular sensor. And let's see what we got here in this particular sensor. And as you can see, uh, there is a long list of sensors being used. Uh, let's pick up the basic one as you can see ADC 121. It's a one channel uh, analog to digital converter sensor. Uh, these are some more prominent features which you are able to see on this particular screen. And also you can purchase this sensor from here. Now for the interfacing part I will be taking care of the sensor ADC 121C with a beagle bone black and the platform will be a C language code. And to get that code let's go to resource tab and here comes the C code sample. Now you can download the C code sample by clicking over it and you can download it from here as a zip file. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository details control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to set up and let's face it. Well for the hardware connection setup the first thing we require is the bigger bone black which you are able to see on my screen and this here is an I2C shield for the bigger bone black. Now this is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections easier with other I2C devices. So for that what do we require is to gently place this I2C shield over the beagle bone black and make a connection just like that. For the power up setup we require two things. The first is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here. It is very useful to power up the beagle bone black. Now to power up the I2C shield we require a 5 volt adapter which you are able to see on my screen and gently insert it in here. Now for an option for the internet connection there are two mediums. The first is an ethernet cable or LAN cable and the second is this a wireless nano USB adapter. Now what we require next is our sensor that is ADC121C and this here is a connecting cable. Now make sure that while making the connection we have to make the connection of the ground terminal of the sensor to the ground wire of the cable and similarly for the I2C shield. The same rule has to be applied. So we are done with all the connections. Now what we require next is to have a look over the code. Now for the interfacing part, uh, first of all we have to log into github.com and then we have to check for the repository that is control everything community and here it is and then we have to check for a sensor that is ADC121C. 021 is for the sensor reference. Now here comes the C code. Let's have a look over the C code instructions we need to carefully follow and it says that first step is to set up and log into our device that is the beagle bone blank and the relevant information and the procedure is exactly followed on the link that is beaglebone.org. After doing that we have to download or get pull the code onto beagle bone black and this is the command to compile the C code and this is to run the C code. Please note it down carefully. After getting the instructions we need to get back to the code as you can see it's .c extension file and then we have to explain it line by line which I will and as you can see we have included some of the header files as you can see. Now in the void main function we have to check whether the bus is available or not it is open or closed and we have to check for the device and the address of the sensor that is available is 0x50. Now we are going to have the uh, selection of configuration register as you can see 0x02 and we are going to send the command for automatic conversion mode enabled that is 0x20 and here comes the writing section of this. Now we are going to read the data back from the sensor from the register that is 0x00 and we have the raw ADC MSB and LSB. Then we have to check whether the data conversion is followed and the following of this data is according to the guidelines provided in the data sheet for ADC 121C. At the very end of our code, we have to check whether uh, the output or the sensor code has been displayed onto the screen, which is the digital value of analog input. And exactly in the layman language, it is the raw value. Now, what do we require next is to have a look over the practicality of this code we have just been seen. So let's have it. Now we have come to very interesting part that is the uh, practicality of this working code and let's see what we got here and in this part we have to copy this entire C code, C language code and then we have to open up the terminal for the Beagle Moon Black we have just opened 
and here we have to create a file as you can see on my screen it's adc121c021.c which uh, is the extension for the C language code and here we have to paste the entire code we have just copied from github and after that we have to save it now the command as you can see on my screen this is the command for the compilation and let's see what we got here and after that uh, this is the whole command and let's see what we got here in the compilation and it's done very beautifully and after that uh, which is to build the code this is the command and let's see what we got here and we have the digital value of analog input which is zero when I run again the command and one more time we have the value zero exactly which means there is nothing connected among the terminal one and zero but instead when I connect a battery double a battery of 1.5 volt among the sensor terminals and I run the command again we have an input it's 704 it's actually the raw value when I again run and one more time for the specific value we have the values as you can see there is not a much change it means it's almost constant because there is a battery connected and this is how the sensor responds it works in this particular way now what do we have is to show the benefits features and some of it more beautiful applications so let's have it the ADC 121C and the family of ADC 121C 021 is a converter that is low power monolithic 12 bit analog digital converter that operates from a 2 point plus 2.7 to 5.5 volt supply. The converter is based upon successive approximation register architecture with an internal track and hold circuit that can handle input frequencies up to 11 megahertz. The device features an I2C compatible serial interface that operates in all three speed modes including high speed mode 3.4 megahertz. Due to these good features it is applicable in a lot of applications like system monitoring, peak detection, portable instruments, medical instruments, test equipment, automotive and a lot more to mention. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site. You can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.